John Hennessy drops the curtain on his long-awaited supercar, the Venom GT. Also, Cadillac reveals the new CTSV Sport Wagon, and American car manufacturer Pinot's sets its sights on the 24 Hours of Le Mans this year. Three stories, five guys, one show. I'm Derek D, and this is Fast Lane Daily. Now, just just keep it. <laughs> Royal Purple is the performance oil that outperforms. More power and torque, reduced wear, better economy, longer oil life. It's so good that 25 out of 28 of America's top high performance engine builders relied on it at this year's Engine Masters Challenge. Why? Royal Purple delivers real world performance. Royal Purple, the performance oil that outperforms. And mere hours before the New York Auto Show press days, Cadillac has released the first photos of the new CTSV Sport Wagon. That's right, Bob Lutz still has his finger on the trigger somewhere, and it's obvious he doesn't want to let it go. Jalopnik.com had spy shots of the ass end of this thing a few weeks ago, but now here's the rest of its body. Powered by the same supercharged 6.2 liter V8, putting out 556 horsepower as the CTSV sedan and coupe, the new sport wagon has joined the family of crazy estates like the original RS4, E63, and BMW M5. Not much else to say about this show car, but sweet. We'll be seeing that ass in person at the show. Ow! See? Nice. American power mixed with British chassis development. Sounds like a winning combination on paper, but who could ever really pull it off? Well, John Hennessy says he has. Today we have the first official photos of the new Venom GT. Years in the making, we've seen plenty of teaser shots and even leaked photos we got last week from our good buddy Liam. But now, Mr. Hennessy has sent us all the delicious details we could ever ask for. The new Venom GT will come in three versions, 725 horsepower, 1,000 horsepower, or immediate death if you don't know what you're doing at 1,200 horsepower. How, you may ask? Well, let me explain. Can I have a pen? Why do I need a pen? First, you start off with the Lotus Elise chassis then make it two feet longer and a foot wider. Now rip everything out and replace it with carbon fiber, including the wheels. Finally, drop in a General Motors sourced supercharged LS9 V8. No, not that one. The one from the Corvette ZR1, yes. And boom, boom, insanity ensues. And you now have a Venom GT. I don't know why I needed that, but I think it worked. Because I wrote it in the right. Total curb weight is 2,400 pounds, or the weight of your mom, and the 1,200 horsepower version is capable of 0 to 60 in around 2.5 seconds, 0 to 150 miles per hour in 8.9 seconds, and onto a top speed of nearly 250 miles per hour. You bet your ass this thing will break records, either that or your mom's ass. Price tag will be in the $600,000 range, and Hennessy will only build 10 a year. Do you guys like that boom I did before? No, Can we get a John Madden boom? Come on, Ian, do we have it? Boom! Nice. Back and awesome. And if you have ever watched the American Le Mans series, you should know the name Pinot's. If not, Google it now. <clears throat> I'm waiting, Google it. You there? Okay. It's the American car company that owns the racing series and also produces some awesome exotics. The last car was the 2000 Esperante, which did fairly well for its limited production run. But last weekend's 12 Hours of Sebring, company co-founder Don Pinot's confirmed that we will be seeing a new model debut at this year's 24 Hours of Le Mans as a racer. There were rumors a few years ago that the company had a GT1 car ready to compete against the Corvette racing team, but nothing ever surfaced. Now the rumors surround this new car, dubbed the Abruzzi, will compete in this year's Le Mans series in the GT2 class. Once again, set to compete against the new Corvettes. No other details other than that, but if the racer does debut this summer in France, we can expect a production version due out next year to go right up against the production ZR1. Now wouldn't that be fun? Maybe they'll be number one. Who knows, I'm hungry. Got a hot dog with a bun? How about some gum? Wow. No? Okay. Well, that about does it for Fast Lane Daily today. Remember, Thursday and Friday, we'll have exclusive coverage from the New York International Auto Show directly from the show floor. You're damn right. Give it to me, John. Boom, 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 nice. boom, boom. Nice. We'll see you tomorrow. Back.